Good morning, bee friends. It's Tuesday morning early, about 9.30, going on 10. Um, I went and picked up my new queens this morning early from my bee supplier. And um, this one is a new virgin queen. Hope you can see her. She's got a, um, a blue dot on her. They both do. He gave them a blue dot. She's a, this is the uh, Virgin Queen. And she will be going down on hive three. She'll be going in there because that's the stronger hive. He said to put the mated one in with the weaker one. So, and this is the mated one and she also has a blue dot on her so I'm excited to uh, get them in before all these storms get here this afternoon um, so I got about an hour or so um, so we're gonna go ahead and put them in there and close the box so the bees don't go crazy um, until we can um, get her situated. We'll close that. Okay, this is my plan. I need to take the lid off of this one, the sugar off, get into the box, and I need to take some um, good frames from a couple frame of brood out of that one and put in this top box because this top box here in Hive 1 is kind of almost empty because the new requeen is in the bottom and um, she's doing her thing like she's supposed to but it's not thriving so I'm gonna help this box here I'm gonna take a couple empties put it in there and take a brood and put it in here and then put the mated queen in this box and set it right there so that's my job that's my plan and then we will be strapping all the boxes down before the um, storm gets here and then this will this is a super it will be going on top of this here on hive one this box here will be moving over here and will become hive four so that's my plan but I need to get into hive three get that box open get the sugar off of it and get this one open so I can see I can switch around some um, frames from this top hive so I can help out hive three. All right, that's the plan. All right, we'll be back once we get situated and opened. Okay, here we are. I hope you can see. Very sunny out. We're not complaining, but it's hard to see in the camera. So we'll just do the best we can. Um, we know there's no queen in here, so not yet, but, um, I need to switch some frames around to give them some empties and I need some brood. So I need to go over here to hive one at the top and make some space. So let's just see what I have here. And I will need my hanger. Sorry. Guess I'll have to turn that off until uh, it's very, very windy. Hopefully you can see. All right, we'll come back when I can get that fixed, right? All right, but here is the, uh, here's that box. So yeah, we're getting ready to give them a queen. This is hive three. And um, I'm gonna switch some frames around. Hopefully I can catch that, but if not, I'm sorry. It's very windy. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, I got hive, um, oh my, 
5-1 open and um, I took some empty frames out of the middle because this box is going over there and I need to fill it because um, it does have food and it still has some empties. It has honey in it and I'm going to take a frame. I'll take those three frames over here and um, they're just cleaned out frames and then one side is totally empty but they'll fill that out and that's got a little bit of honey capped honey and they'll clean that out i'm going to fill those in in the spaces and i'm going to take i took out um some good uh nectar honey with pollen on it and a nice frame of brood with bees with fresh eggs on it and i'm going to take these over there so let's see if I can do this while holding this camera. Let's see if I can't. Okay, what I did was I opened up Hive One's top that just had food and empty frames. I took three of their good empty uh, drawed out frames out of the middle almost, as you can see. And I brought them over here to Hive Three, which is going to be one of the splits then i'm going to put the queen in i took out a frame of two frames of food and a frame of um frame of bees with some brood on them really good brood and they got some drone cells and um i'm going to take this one i'm going to take this one over and put it in the other hive so hopefully I can do this right. So give me a moment. I know it's gonna look blurry, but I need to get this frame in here. Okay, so now that frame is somewhat in the middle. And see, they're steady bringing in pollen. And then I'll be able to move this whole entire box. Okay, let me go back over here and grab this one. Now this one's got honey and um, it's an open frame. And I am going to put that right beside this one where the brood is because it's got food on it and that's where I'm going to put the queen the mated queen goes in this box so we're going to put her right there down in there and um, I better leave a space so we can get her in there and then that leaves me with the three empty frames that they can just uh, fill in. And here's some more food. Hmm. I don't know. Let me see if I need that over there or not. Let's see. That one's light. That one's light. kind of light too. Hmm. Well, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll leave this one because it's full of honey and they will still need food. Okay, well, I'll have to come back over once I, um, let's get this main hive over here done and um, we'll get her strapped in and then I can finish filling this up. Because she's the, gonna be the unmated queen. So we need to get her out. I'm gonna have to put my phone down. Hopefully you'll be able to see. Um, and get them out of the way. Smoke them. Then 
I'll be able to move this whole hive. Alrighty. Sorry. Okay, hopefully you can see. All right, this is the mated, the mated queen. And I got a little screw here to poke a hole in the sugar. And I brought my hefty uh, stapler. Because once I pop this off, I will have to, uh, the other side solid. But this is where the sugar is. You put a hole and make a make room for them to get through. Save that little quirky thing. And then just uh go take my little it'll take them a couple days to eat through that. But I'll give them a head start. Three or four days they smell her already <laughs> uh, okay in goes the queen and what I'm gonna do we are going to put her in like so Need my hive tool Slide that over just a little, and then I will get that. Okay, mated queen going in. And hopefully my stapler works. Yay! Just enough to hold it. Okay. All right, we'll show you that very quick. There she is. Look. And they're already over top of her already. And um, I am just going to slide her sideways, like so, and then we will move this. Oh my, you hear that wind? That's why it was important to come down here now. Not supposed to get any better. All right, I gotta put the phone down just for a minute. You can look at some bees. That's how we have her now. Let me see. Okay, there she is. She's in there. And um, I'm just gonna fill the rest of this up with another frame. And then we'll be able to uh, Give her a little space. I did leave enough space for them. Usually uh, they're pretty uh, tight together, but we want to give them enough, give her enough space to do what she needs to do. Ooh, I slid her off. Okay, we're about done with this one, what I needed to do. And um, we'll just finish filling in the um,
filling in the uh, frames that I need to fill in. I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing here so I don't mess up nothing. And then once she gets released, this is the mated one. So, because this is uh, that hive down on the end, number three, man, it is booming. So I'd rather have the mated one in the less, the less of the uh, two that aren't the great. And this will help build the numbers in this hive. So by taking a frame. Okay, we're gonna go over here and finish hive, uh, finish hive three. Be right back. I'm hoping if I set that there, you'll be able to see a little bit better. All right, we're gonna get this uh, other queen in here and get these boxes um, locked back up. need one frame over there so we'll take this one Okay. We'll get this on. For the time being. Okay. Okay, here is our other queen. We're going to put her down in between two uh, brood and a... Um, and food and she's got empty frames she's got a food frame and I need to poke a hole in for that sugar too so give me a second there we go give them a little head start and then down she'll go. And then hopefully she will um, be able to uh, mate in a few days and then my stapler don't want to work. Oh, that's just great. Yay, there we go. I finally got one. Okay. All right, we're going to slide her through. Let me see if I can get the camera. Okay. This is hive three, the one we just did the split on yesterday. She is getting the virgin, um, the virgin um, queen in her. And um, I 
you can see I'm trying to talk and move this frame forward Whew, there we go sorry had to move it just a little All right, I gotta switch hands. They'll be all over her in just a few minutes as soon as she starts uh, putting out that scent. And then we hope in a few days she will be uh, released, three or four days. Look, they're already over top of her already. And uh, I do have to go up and get them some more sugar, too. They drank it all yesterday. So, okay. Look at that. I think they rather enjoy her already. All right, I just need to put that one frame in. It's an empty on this side empty so we'll put that on the outside but this has got honey in it so they will have food the dirt cleaned up alrighty cover put on. Look, they're all over her already. You can barely see the strip. They're happy now. Okay, so let me get them in, get their cover on, then I can get them some, um, we'll get them some sugar. And we'll strap their box down. I think my thingy's working. Okay, we'll be back in a little bit once we get them all figured out. I need to go over here and uh, move this one box over. Okay, we finally have four boxes. Hive one has its uh, super added for extra space for Hive one with the queen excluder. Hive two, same thing. Except I got sugar on it because it's in overload and hive one is not. And they have sugar inside. They have honey inside, so they've got food. Hive two is like an overload, so we did a split, which is hive three, which I'm getting ready to go up to get them some sugar. And we put in a um, virgin queen in hive three. Um, so they're, they're happy now. They'll be, uh, mating her and, uh, getting acquainted in the next two or three days because we're supposed to have some bad, uh, thunderstorms in a couple hours. So glad I got that done. I just need to go up and get them some sugar, give them some for the day, a couple, next couple days till they get the queen, um, released. Um, and then uh, we'll see what happens. But this is a uh, new hive three. Go down here to hive four. This one has a mated queen. I need to strap them down. Um, but yeah, hive four. And uh, it's got a couple frames of uh, food in it too. So she'll be all right for a few days until she gets, uh, this is a mated queen in this one. So um, gotta make some notes. Whew, that was a lot to get done, but we got it done. So there we go. We got a new bee yard. 
four boxes now. So, okay, we'll be back in a few days, see what's going on inside. And um, be safe, happy beekeeping, and God bless you.